Hello everyone, welcome back to a, another bear tutorial. It's been a, it's been a while since the last one, so let's get started. First thing we're gonna do is make a new GUI and start GUI, and we're gonna call this Death GUI. Now, and I think you've noticed in a lot of bear fan games, it's usually just like you got um. A label in the center of the screen um, that says like you died something like that and it's we'll pick a good font so maybe this one yeah, this kind of looks like bear make it bold make it transfer background transparent and then make it white so for center for text in the center what I like to do is set the anchor point to 0 0.5 0 0.5 and then set the position to 0 0.5 0 0.5 and basically this just makes sure that whatever device you're on it's always in the center so we're gonna add a script in here so um, And then, so this is just the, your player. And then, go character equals player. Um, dot character or just player dot character. And what you what you can what you can do is make um. Player that character added weight. Basically, this just waits until the player's character has loaded in. Um, actually, for that we would do player. My bad. Um. Anyways, so character dot humanoid that died comma. Connect function. Basically, this will happen when the when your character dies, and so we'll do script dot parent dot enabled equals true. So this just shows the GUI when you die. So we can make this enabled false. And what I like to do for testing stuff like this is disable the game script. So, um. <laughs> Basically, you can test everything without worrying about getting into a round and whatnot. So, let's start. So, if we click respawn, reset character. Oh, that's weird. It is not showing up. Maybe if we... Moves. Turn off that and nor GUI inset. Respawn is very strange. Um, so to fit to for debugging, I might print loaded. So let's see what happens. Okay. So must we have something to do with this line here. So let's move that and ah, okay, so what I'm gonna do is put a wait. One, three. So this way it will hopefully make sure that um, everything's loaded before we do all this. So we start the game. Respawn. And 
does not work. This just blurs your background when you die, so we can. And then just enable this blur when the character dies. Right. This should work. And we set blur. There we go. Okay. So, here's the completed script. Pause the video to copy. Um, and now, what we'll do is add the sprint. So, um, I have the sprint kit already inserted in my game, so I'm just going to drag it down to server storage. Now, most, what most people do is they put it in replicated storage, but that allows um, exploiters to look in and steal your GUI, which is not what you want. So, this GUI is, um, I've used this is a very similar system to what I've used in my older games. Um, almost the same code, just different UI. Um, put that back in server storage. And we'll enable our game script again. So let's go down to uh, yeah. So it's, it's our teleport script. Um, and if the character is not there, we'll um, do game dot server storage dot sprint uh, clone. Um, and local sprint equals and sprint dot parent equals the just player dot player gui. So this will work, but what I assume is going to happen is it will make me a bear. So let's see. Okay, yeah. So it makes me the bear. So what I'm gonna do to test this is usually what I'll do is remove the uh, comment out this break just to test things, like to test rounds with only one player. And uh, um, 
comment this out and put this in here just oh not not this wrong code copy this paste it here so we're gonna remove this later so I'm gonna comment remove later so um, this is what I'm just gonna do to test the sprinting game however I recommend just not um, uncommenting this when you actually like want to play with two people because you don't want bear to have sprint Right, so we have sprint and it works very nicely. So, and that is going to be the end of today's video. It was a little short. Um, so, thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe for more videos.